Hey, what's up guys? This is BMB and a new tutorial. We will start with the winners list of our giveaway program, so congratulations for all the winners. Do not miss the chance to be the winner of this month too, so all what you need to do is to write a comment in this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and activate the notification button to be informed when we post our next video to announce the list of winners. About the gifts, we will select one of the posted comments of this video and we will send to the lucky person an Arduino board and then we will select 4 other comments to win a 30 US dollars free coupons that you can use to order some PCBs from GLC PCB and we will provide also coupon codes for PCB ordering discount in every video we post. As I told you, all what you need to do is to write a comment right down in this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Moving to today's project, as you saw in the intro of this video, today we will create a small robot which has four wheels based on the SMARS model, but with some additional features like the buzzer, the Bluetooth control and the Android app which is needed to drive the robot. So let's go to my desktop to see how to make it. As always guys, I try to pick up some easy projects for the audience so everyone can try it and today's project is easy as well. Based on the 3D printed parts of the Smarts robot, which is a small vehicle with two micro motors, and there is lots of designs that you can follow to make your own robot, so here is mine. And also about the accessories that you can add to your robot, they are many, but for our project, we will start with the basic design, so no much accessories in it, but we will post in the coming videos how to add more features to our small robot. Moving to the control part, as it shows the following circuit diagram, we will use a 80 mega 328 MCU that you can have from an Arduino Uno board. This MCU is driving two micro motors through L293H bridge driver and as you can see I added two motor drivers so you can use this circuit diagram in case your robot is four motors robot. Also we have a buzzer output, a servo motor output control, the Bluetooth connection pins, and a ultrasonic sensor input. All of these are features that you can play with when you produce the same circuit diagram. Just one last component is this 5 volt voltage regulator which is required in here since we are using a 9 volt battery to power the robot and we need to drop down the voltage to 5 volt for the power supply of the MCU and the motors. After preparing the circuit, I transformed it into a customized PCB design and the easiest task now is to place the order for the PCBs, so I need to move to GLC PCB, the best PCB supplier in order to get the best PCB manufacturing service. As always, just some simple clicks, that's all what you need to upload the Gerber files of the circuit design. Then I moved to set some parameters, and this time we will use the blue color for the PCB. Just 4 days after placing the order, and my PCBs are here. As you see guys, the packing, the shipping and all the production steps are performing very well to produce these beautiful PCBs. Before start soldering the electronic parts, let's review the electronic components list for our project. So we will need the PCB that we have ordered from GLC PCB, the 80 mega 328 MCU, a 293 motor driver, HC05 Bluetooth module, 5 volt regulator, two through hole capacitors, two SMD capacitors, a 16 megahertz oscillator, a buzzer, seal connectors screw heater connectors, two DC micro motors, a 9 volt battery, and we will need the robot 3D printed parts. You can find in the description of this video all ordering links in case you want to buy the same components as mine. Now everything is ready so let's start soldering our electronic components to the PCB and to do so, we need a soldering iron and a solder core wire.
Now we have the PCB ready and all the components soldered very well. So it's time to move to the software part. I have made this Arduino code that you can get from the download link in the description down below. It's so basic code, just some instructions to receive from the Android app in order to control the movements of the robot. Now all what we need is to place the MCU in an Arduino Uno board and we upload the code to the MicroQ controller. Then we take it back to its socket on our PCB. After that, we continue the assembly of our robot parts and we will start with the wheels chain. We need these 32 chain parts, 16 parts for each side. And we use this plastic filament which we have cut 30 parts of it. Each part has a 15 millimeters of length. And we hold the chain parts together. You can use some glue to ensure that your chain stay attached. We put the 9 volt battery and the micro motors to them placements. Now we take the robot chassis and these two free wheels and we assemble them together. And we assemble the active wheels to the motors. Last but no least, we put the chain to connect the wheels to each other. The last step is screwing the wheels wires and the 9V battery. Then we insert the PCB to its socket and our robot is ready to move now. We will post in the coming videos more features added to our robot. As you see guys today's project is so easy to make and an amazing one. And we recommend it for you guys if you want to start playing with controllable robots. But still some other improvements to perform in our project in order to make it much more better. That's why I will be waiting for your comments to improve it. Do not forget to thumb this video if you like it and to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the chance to be the month winner of the giveaway program. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was BNB from Megadas. See you next time.